Hello everyone, I am Shai Mitro and you are watching WCS Expo. It is highly recommended that current affairs is very essential for competitive exam. So here we discuss today's most important current affairs. So you subscribe the channel to get daily updated current affairs. Today's important current affairs are US offers F-18 fighters to India. The United States of America has offered its F-18 naval fighter jets to fulfill the Indian Navy's requirement of combat jets. The Indian Navy had expressed its interest in the induction of 57 naval fighter aircraft for operations from its aircraft carriers. Along with the F-18 fighters, the US government has also offered to sell the unmanned aircraft Sea Guardian to the Indian Navy. Next, Centers National Water Award. Chhattisgarh's Bilaspur and Surajpur district have backed the National Water Award by the central government for the revival of water bodies and water conservation. This comes under Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel's Narua program, which ensured the availability of drinking water development of irrigation resources and recharge of groundwater. Next. Rohit Sharma, Brand Ambassador of Dr. Trust Senior Indian cricketer Rohit Sharma was on 28 October named Brand Ambassador of healthcare company Dr. Trust. Dr. Trust produces monitoring devices which help in tracking vitals like blood pressure, blood oxygen levels, respiration rate, pulse rate and others. Rohit will be featured in a new integrated campaign for Dr. Trust which will run across TV, print and online channels as well as in store. Next. Indian chess player Leon Mendoka wins. Young Indian international master Leon Luke Mendoka earned his maiden grandmaster norm after winning the title in Rigoses International Festival Tournament in Hungary. The 14-year-old Mendoka won six games, drew two and lost one to emerge winner in the 10-player field which included three grandmasters and was played over the board. He secured 7 points from 9 rounds in the tournament. Next, International Animation Day 28 October. October 28 is celebrated as International Animation Day. It recognizes the artist, the scientist and the technicians behind animated art including animation, animated movies. Created by the International Animated Film Association in 2002, the unofficial holiday commemorates the day in 1892 when Charles Emile Riendite Renaud's Theater Optic made its first public appearance at the Griven Museum in Paris. Next. Young Bangladeshi boy wins a prize. A six-year-old Bangladeshi boy, Anzar Mustanin Ali, won a special prize of US dollar 1000 for his artwork in the global art competition organized by the Indian Council of Cultural Relations. The ICCR had launched a global painting competition named United Against Corona, expressed through art. It attracts 8,000 artwork entries from around the world. Next, Fanny Bridge to be completed by December 2020. The 1.8 km long Fanny Bridge connecting Sabram in India with Ramgarh in Bangladesh will be completed by December 2020. This was announced by the Road Transport, Highways and MSMEs Minister Nitin Gadkari. The Fanny Bridge being built at the cost of Rs 129 crore will ease the transportation of goods from Chattogram and Kolkata ports. An integrated check post is also proposed to be built near Sabram. Next. Paddy procurement increases by 18.6%. Paddy procurement at MSP by government has registered an increase of nearly 18.6% in 2020. Over 13,64,000 farmers have already benefited through this MSP procurement under which the government has paid an amount of over 30,000 crore rupees. Out of the total purchase, Punjab alone has contributed over 107 lakh metric tons, which is nearly 67% of the total procurement. Next, 
Vice President Naidu launches virtual festivals. Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu launched the virtual festival of Porompora Series 2020 National Festival of Music and Dance on 27 October 2020. It was organized by Nato Torongini in partnership with the United Nations. Nato Torongini has been organizing the Porompora Series continuously since past 23 years. Next, 74th Infantry Day, 27 October. Indian Army celebrates October 27 each year as Infantry Day. The day commemorates the first engagement with an armed adversary post-independence in response to the threat posed to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our nation. On this day in 1947, the leading elements of Indian Army air landed at Srinagar and gallantly fought the Pakistani tribesmen led by Pakistani Army. Next. Hyderabad Airport introduces a facility. Hyderabad has become the first airport in India to enable e-boarding for international flights. International e-boarding service ramps up safe travel options for international passengers choosing to fly out of Hyderabad. The service is currently available for select international flights of Indigo Airlines. Next, four more short piece stars win award. The lead stars of four more short plays, Kriti Kulhari, Shani Gupta, Bani J, Manvi Gargo, have scored a win at Bhushan Asian Contents Award. They have all won in the Best Rising Star category for the second session of the show. The show was also recently nominated for an International Emmy. Next. BRO Road in Sikkim dedicated to nation. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh on 26 October dedicated a 19.85 km alternate alignment of the National Highway 310 from km 0 0.002 to km 19.350 to the nation in East Sikkim. The road serves as an important link to bolster defense preparedness in the Nathula sector in particular and in the whole of East Sikkim in general. The ceremony was held through video conference from the 33 crop headquarters in Shukna. Next, Kerala becomes first state to fix floor price. Kerala has become the first state in the country to set floor price of 16 varieties of vegetables. Kerala CM Pinerari Vijayan inform the scheme would come into effect from November 1, 2020. This is the first time the floor price is being fixed for vegetables produced in the state and this is the first for a state in the country also. Provide relief as well as support for the farmers. Next, construction of world's longest tunnel, Farm Bell Tunnel begins. The Farm Bell Tunnel that will connect Denmark and Germany is scheduled to be opened by 2029. It is built with a budget of more than US dollar 8 billion. It will have an 18 km extension and built across the Feynman Belt, a strait between Germany and Denmark. Next, Luis Arce elected as President of Bolivia. Luis Arce was elected as President of Bolivia in the election held on October 18. He is the chosen successor of Evo Morales who was president of the country from 2006 to 2019. Luis Arce is a member of the political party movement towards socialism. Bolivia capital La Paz Supre currency Boliviano. Punjab CM launches phase 2 of urban environment improvement program. Punjab Chief Minister Amrinda Singh virtually launched phase 2 of the rupees 11,000 crore urban environment improvement program. Under this urban infrastructure and efficient service delivery system are delivered to the urban population of Punjab. Punjab capital Chandigarh, Governor VP Singh Badnode. Next, government notifies new rules that allow in any Indian citizen to buy land in Jammu and Kashmir. Union Home Minister notified the Real Estate Act 2016 in Jammu and Kashmir have been repealed. The center omitted the phrase permanent resident of the state from section 17 of the Jammu and Kashmir Development Act which deals with the disposal of the land in the UT. Article 35A prohibited non-JNK citizens from buying land in JNK. Next, 
Ganesham Jha takes oaths as chairman of JNK State Water Resource Regulatory Authority. Ganesham Jha was administered the oath of office of the chairman of JNK State Water Resources Regulatory Authority, Swara. Jha earlier served as the chairman Central Water Commission, CWC. Swara is responsible for regulating water resources within JNK. Lieutenant Governor Manasina. Next, IIT Kanpur and ASI sign more with Italian Institute for Restoration of Monuments. IIT Kanpur and the Archaeological Survey of India sign an agreement with two institutes, Safoskari University of Venice, Soprintendenza Archaeologica, Belle Arti e Passeggio, Venice, from Italy seeking restoration and protection of historical monuments. Italy capital, Rome, President Sergio Mattarella, currency Euro. Author Sarvaprit Singh's latest book, Night of the Restless Spirits. Night of the Restless Spirits. Author Sarvaprit Singh recounts the Sikh massacre of 1984. The book is a fictionalized version of real happenings comprising just eight chapters. It shows the event of 1984 through the prism of many lives and impact on Sikhs. Night of the Restless Spirits published by Penguin. So, these are the most important current affairs of the day. I hope it helps you lot. Please like this video, share your love, comment on this video and please, please subscribe the channel.